Great, welcome back again, guys and girls. Uh, James here from Master Concept, answering a second question from my colleague and doing a video for it to show him and also to show you, because these questions are really good and they're real for a real client, for a real customer. So the question here is gonna be, how can we show the conversion rate for a purchase? Well, it's simpler than you think because at the end of the day, a purchase conversion should always make you think about a funnel right? But you may, your question might be, okay, the last step will be purchase. But what about the first few steps, right? Um, there's, of course, like an item detail page, there's add to cart, and maybe complete purchase, right? Maybe there's also going to be like a checkout event. Is a checkout event here? No. Um, which you get the idea, you know, add multiple different events here and look at, oh, you know, those who search, and eventually purchase, you know, what's the conversion right there, but typically looking at Item page, view, add to cart to purchase complete. That's a typical conversion pipeline. Trying to find out where to put my head. That's not making the view harder to see. The overall view here, <laughs> you know, I put it up here, uh, is looking at the overall funnel steps, one, two, and three. And you're kind of looking at the conversion rate from the previous step, right? So those from the previous step converted 93.27% of the time. But I can also look at the absolute conversion rate, for example, or not absolute conversion rate, but I can also add this first step conversion rate as well to this table. So moving my head again, I have this conversion from first step, which is different from the previous step conversion, right? So I'm looking at 71% of people who have viewed an item detail page eventually converted at the end of the day. The conversion window is quite lacks it's 30 days that's way too long let's make it one session but again 30 days actually is pretty cool you can do that see one session very strict and actually i would go so far as to say hmm wow looks looks scary but in reality a single session conversion window is kind of useless it's not really realistic right like come on don't be so strict i'd probably give them three days right Maybe you get re-engaged with a message or email, card abandonment, et cetera. You can also measure that here as well, but let's just say that's the one we care about the most. Then you kind of see, okay, very interesting. It is different. And the conversion rate is still not so high, but it's still pretty darn high, 27%. I can also add like a, say, homepage or whatever view here as well. If you have homepage viewed, you can see conversion rate from the landing page, but it's always hard to measure. Did they land on the homepage or land on a product page? Because the product page is usually linked when it comes to social ads, et cetera, right? So you don't always want to put uh, that. Maybe you have a landing page as a parameter and say, you know, was a landing page landed on? That's the first step and then et cetera. Anyways, I just use this one as the first step as a good default. Now that's your conversion rate, and this is kind of nice. You can also look at it from a final trend. Also really cool with noting is the time it takes here, average time to convert from previous step, average time from first step. There you go, 1.7 days on average it takes to go from that to that. Anyways, let's go to uh, the final trend, which is now what I probably wanna use for my dashboards, of course. I'm looking at the conversion rate, and I'm looking at, well, across all steps to finish all three steps, of course. I can also get rid of the second step and just say I only care about item detail page to purchase completion. That's my main objective here. Anyways, I can see this conversion rate trend over time. And I can use this now as my report, right? Get rid of add to cart, shouldn't change too much, but we see here this conversion rate from item detail page view, purchase complete. And I can see how that conversion rate over time is trending. Wow, this last week is horrible, right? Only demo data, don't worry. But I can see it back in history, and even compare against the previous time period. All right, great. Now this can be added to a dashboard very easily. Might have seen my name there, that's fine. And I can go to my dashboard here. See that as a, as a kind of report chart, not really useful. Let's make it a metric. There you go, perfect. And that's your conversion rate, kind of 101. Cheers.